Alright. <clears throat> Let's go. We're back. Okay, we'll follow in shortly. Sacred stones. Yay. We have one now. They're the last hope of humanity. Please do remember that. The sacred stone. There's another one left in theory. At Rawson, but... For all intents and purposes, this is the last hope for humanity. Is this sacred stone. I do remember that. And the characters know this. Remember that too. Random river folk. And there's Serene. Uh, she is a ranger here, which is not normally what she is. She is an upgraded Pegasus, normally. So, yeah. What is that? Pegasus Knight? In this one? Falcon Knight. Or Falco Knight. Pegasus Knight's the base class, so I always get that. Got that messed up. <sighs> Uh, but now she's a ranger, like Ephraim. <laughs> uh, she does have that infinite longbow! <laughs> also a Lance Reaver. Random Lance Reaver. Neat. Let's go to her base stats. Let's see. Uh, she lost 1 HP. She lost 3 strength. Uh, skill stayed the same. Speed stayed the same. Lost 2 luck. Um, indeed, well, everything stayed the same except strength, which she lost three of and lost one HP. And two luck. So she lost stats, basically. <laughs> Good job! She lost stats, or they... There, they stayed the same. Nothing positive. Good job, sir. Though she does have a different one, though. I guess we'll recruit her. <laughs> <coughs> Um, I need to talk with her with somebody from, like, uh, Ennis' kingdom. Or I can also talk with Vanessa. So, uh, Ennis, Vanessa, or Tana, but we're not using Tana, so... Those are your options. Let's see. Silver Swords, which <laughs> have the devil stat, so maybe the enemy will kill themselves with it. Hello, you have fi uh, Fimbleverter. Butcher that. It's it's Blizzard. I call it Blizzard. It's the A rank Animatome, and it's normally really good. Here it's unbreakable, so I kind of want one now. I don't know where I'll get one, but I want one now. Um, it's really good. It weighs 12, so it's a little heavy, but it has 13 might, 80 hit. Um, it's really strong. And the enemy has it. Silver Axe, which poisons. Purge! Oh man, I could get it, but you're gonna use it up before I can. Darn. <laughs> it's Purge Dome. It only has one use. Good job. Plus five skill strikes from afar. It's the long range light dome. That I will not have. Hey, a guiding ring. Spare guiding ring. That's cool. No, I have no use for it. Tomahawk, I do. Ranged, high critical hit rate. Killing Edge. Here's our boss, Leon. Fenrir, which is the A rank Dark Tome. It's effective against cavalry in this version. And Nasiratu gives plus 5 speed. It also will heal him. He'll have 32 hit, and then you heal back half of what you do with Nasiratu, I believe, in this one. Bunch of killer weapons. Brave Lance. A dragon shield that I would like to steal. Nine speed. I can do that. I would just have to not accidentally kill him. Bunch of javelins. Lightning. Hatchet elixir. Silver Lance. A bunch of silver <laughs> Silver Lance, which is also effective against Flyers. Fender. Um, yeah, so...
12 units. I think these are the 12 units I want to use. Vanessa, Erica, Garrett, Marissa. Now, great Lord Marissa. For Doza, Soleil, and Ennis. I don't really need Doza other than to steal the shield, but, you know, we're going to try. I need to buy some more swords. I don't know what sword I'll buy. Probably steel. I can't can't risk uh, silver. Well, I don't want to risk silver. I mean, we can. I choose not to. <laughs> All right, let's get this formation set. Um, Somebody with range is going to hit that. Everyone can fly over and start firing. Uh, people with some speed will head this way. Uh, Marissa, Eric, Marissa, Erica, go that way too. Okay. Looks good. Let's start. Great night. You're gonna start seeing promoted units more and more. You saw quite a few of the last map. Now that's normally what you would mainly see. We still have some, but. <laughs> Dragon axe. Go ahead, swing. Find out what happens. Those Warven Lords and their movement of eight. How dare! Because they can, <laughs> because they can fly. I don't think that was normally there. Wow! Use the purge dome on the NPC. <laughs> Man, that's some real hate. There's this army marching toward us. Forget it. Off the civilian with purge. That's that's messed up. Wow. Okay. Have to 
for it. Jeez. Thanks. Thanks, enemy. There's the critical, which looks really cool. And you just <laughs> Dragon Ball it, just summon the power above your head and then strike. himself let's say I heard the hit animation <laughs> I heard the hit sound but it doesn't didn't take damage that would be wrong. HP, skill, speed, defense. Whoa. So good. Just nuts. There's a good chance he maxes out defense. Maybe even res. Scary. Strong versus axis. Sure! Throw a short spear at him. No mercy. Next. Yep, you break that so others can cross. Let's see if Serene survives. I may not be getting that dragon shield because it may go after uh go after Gillen. Yep. <laughs> and Gillen's gonna kill him. Good job. Well, no dragon shield. No extra two defense.
Because I wanted it to attack. I wanted, uh, wanted the enemy to attack Ephraim. Lance Reaver! <laughs> Made good use of that. Because Lance Reaver is effective versus Knights. Which, that counted. Right, where's Ennis? Talk. Serene. Prince Ennis, is it? It really is you, isn't it? Being rescued by you, it's like a dream. Serene, I need a stats report because Ennis is... doesn't see what's going on. Oh, oh yes, please forgive me. I wish decimated my squad's all the remains. I'm here. Victory is assured because he is very uh, full of himself. I mean, and normally he has the skill to back it up, so... And he's all business. Wish you would have crept the first time, Erica, but thank you. Start having her use swords. She's gonna be a sword hero now. do down here now because the thing I cared about is gone so I guess you all just die Mr. <laughs> because Ephraim oh there it is again Really cool looking. That works for me. Because Slim Lance just has such low damage, even Lara Shell can take these heads. I mean, she hasn't been growing physical defense at all. Hardly any. The steel lance will hurt. Well, that kind of ends Dolza's time here. Ooh, axe. You're using axe. Neat. Well, I have an iron lance. That's more in my favor. Dragon Axe. It's really funny. Wait. I don't have anybody with the silver card. Sad. Got the core out here. Oh man, you would have actually done one. But you missed. You too! Oh man, it could have been heroes. Could have done one to the almighty uh, future king of Rainus. <laughs> well, you're worthless now. You don't even have a. Uh, right? Like, you didn't have anything else. Yeah. <laughs> you're free exp. What's in here, by the way? 
Thunder, Elfire, Flux, Nosferatu, Heal, the usual. I am gonna move up. Shame Shear. That's plus five strength. That's critical! Horse dug a tough in. Ready. There, so no new enemy spawn. That's critical. Getting those second criticals, man. Critical on the first hit. Save me a weapon use. Oh no, I need to shoot the one in the back. Dragon Axe, I just have to hit. Oh. Yep! <laughs> it's effective. I hope you can cross. I didn't think about that. I'll have to go all the way back around. Dragon Spear, Halberd, and a Killer Bow. Joy. Uh, oh, you have a Tomahawk too. Ugh. No, you can't go. Or I'm gonna make sure you fall because 17 damage, 41% chance to critical hit. That, that insta-kill is in us if that, that crits. That's such a low hit percentage. There's a Spire Emblem. That'll hit. Trust me. Right, send that away. Vanessa will be carrying it along. Oh, Vanessa's over there. Vanessa will be carrying it along with her. Um, you have a longbow. Bottom unit. Forgot about that one. My bad. You'll have one HP left. Darn.
More reinforcements. Yeah, good. We can cross. Because promoted unit. They might not be able to. Steel ants, which are both strong versus axes. Longbow, might as well use it. Slayer. Sure, you had an axe, but I just needed to hit. And I did. <laughs> Level 2! HP, speed, luck, defense. Okay, got defense. Then go to the units coming. Right there. Really lost. Hey, guiding ring. Ooh, I'm glad that didn't kill. Glad I didn't kill again. Because it could have. One of those hit and crit. That's fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. See, it looks really cool, too. More enemies! Magic speed defense. Nice. Good. I'll do. No. Now you don't make it. Well, that's a shame. I thought you had enough movement. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice, good hit. Not even giving you a chance. 96, could have missed. Garrett could take a hit. Level 4. One speed. Aww. Sad. No critical. Ah, hit. There's the critical animation, which is faster than the normal animation. Go figure. Again with that axe. Man, only 19. You actually have a defense <laughs> the rest of you have this but you I could shoot <laughs> okay level up for serene Level 2! HP, Strength, Speed, Resistance! Oh, good luck. Do you also have an axe? Yeah, you have a halberd. Of course you do. That's a lot of damage. All I need is one crit. There it is! So cool. I love that critical animation. Enemy face. Now I have the advantage here, too. Aw, oh, didn't crit. I think I have one spare killing edge. Level 3. HP, skills, speed, luck, resistance. Hey, res. There we go. <laughs> hey, give me your killing edge. <laughs> Leon, you must stop! There's Fenrir. Nope. He has no chance of doubling, by the way. I wasn't scared of that. Hey, he's got 11 speed. And because he's using dark magic, you know, not the best con. But shamans used to have a little higher concept. But anyway, 11 speed. This weighs 18. Like, I knew he was losing a bunch of speed. He effectively has zero speed, actually, using Vinru. Whereas Erica has only 24. <laughs> What's in the shop? Ah, yes. You have killer weapons. I believe they'll still be <laughs> Sword Reaver, too. 
Uh, they'll still be there when we leave. We can shop here afterwards. And we can buy for cheaper. I know we have a bunch of money, but... I'm gonna be buying a lot of killer swords. <laughs> Just for everything. Joker needs to move. <laughs> Two, though. Seventeen defense, nineteen resistance. No damage back because Ford never got strength. Oh, one of these from down there. Ugh. All that junk. Um. No critical, sadly. Didn't get hit, though, so that's okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> of course. Level up for Marissa. Level 2. HP, skill, speed. All right. Seven. going to be hard, but I'm going to try. Especially, Ephraim decides to be very stylish with it. As is for stylish. Mm 
there. Hi, Gakdal. Many months from now when it comes out, yes, I will be getting three houses. Welcome to the stream. Critical hit. I don't know what to think about three houses yet, but I will be getting it. I want to pre order the deluxe edition, but I can't find it anywhere to pre order it. Other save release day only. Huh. Yeah, it it's been a while since I've gotten deluxe, you know fancy edition on anything, so uh, just because I normally don't have money for it now. So I just have the plain edition, but yeah, I will be getting it. Luck defense! Nice, got a point of defense. That's got much strength, but. Where's Leon? What have you done with our friend? Answer me! <laughs> How foolish. The one you seek is already dead. I have cast him into the abyss from which I crawled. That weakling is gone. Only the Demon King remains. Monster. You will feel the wrath of my longbow. saw a paladin critical. There we go. It's like you're charging forward. It looks really cool. It's got some neat stuff in it. Yeah, see it again! <laughs> Double the fun! to three houses just because I like Fire Emblem, but I don't know. Some of the things that they've shown, I'm not super down for. <laughs> I know a lot of people will be, but I eh, guess I'm just getting old. <laughs> and the main thing with that is the whole class system, where it looks like you can make any Anybody anything. I'm I'm not down for that. Like here this is a randomizer, so it's it's silly. Um but just in general to be able to do that, I don't know. That's 
that's not... That kind of goes against Fire Emblem to me. And a lot of other stuff has, but that's... This character is this class. I mean, that's... That's such a big deal. You forgot what it is to fear me. I don't fear you. Ah! <laughs> it's by ever. <laughs> Agent Keith uh, Longbow. <laughs> I don't fear you! <laughs> it shoots him from yes far away. <laughs> I, it, it could end up being really cool. I'm sure it will be, and I'll have a blast with it, but... Yeah, it could Just... You know, at first, first getting hit with that, I was kind of like, what? HP skill, luck. I mean, that's what it looked like from that little trailer thing they showed. We'll have to see how it all plays out at the end of the day. Man, I just can't get that 45 critical. There it is. Of course, on the second hit. Can't get that 45 critical on the first hit. Should do it. <sighs> Get up from a level. Do, 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 do. Level thirteen. Speed luck. Okay. Nasratu town, which gets sent. strength, but I am the Demon King. The world will be mine as it was in ancient days. Injuries such as these are not enough to stop me. Demon King! Come, my friend. You should follow me. If you've the strength to beat me, that is. After him, Erica! Search everywhere! Cannot let him desecrate my bo friend's body any longer. That's great. Innis? No need to panic. Soldiers are following Prince Leon's trail. Trackers are excellent. They'll know his whereabouts momentarily. Good point. Well made. Something I need to speak with you about. Mizra sent to Frelia return not long ago. She brought a package I've requested. Frelia's sacred twins. Frelia may have lost her sacred stone. However, it seems the sacred twin relics remain undisturbed. Brought them here. Behold! Incredible. Frelia's sacred twins. Needhog, the serpent bow, please be good so Ephraim can have it. And, uh, Vinfernir, the winged lance. I want you to take them. You tell them. No, I trust them to you. You're the leader of this army. Use them as you will. Wind up in worthy hands. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Thank you, Ernest. This helps. Please be good! Well, it's got 34 uses. It didn't get uh, unbreakable. I was really hoping it would get unbreakable. No! It would! It got the devil stat. Darn it! Why? <laughs> this is to punish me for using the longbow all of this time. This, this, this is the punishment. We're gonna give you Needhog and it's gonna have a bunch of uses, but everyone could kill himself with it. Enjoy! Ah! Man, that's. that's annoying. <laughs> oh, the spear got infinite uses, of course.
Hey, I got five defense. And before the first shot he kills himself? Probably. Man, that's that really sucks. I was hoping it would be good. That really... Ugh, just... That hurts me. Because <laughs> Ephraim's so good. And then they do that to him. Oh, well, somebody can use the spear. That's for sure. Enter the armory. I will have killer bows. Ugh. All right, Cormac. I need killing edges. Javelins, just in case. I don't really need any more killer lances. I'll buy an extra killer lance in case there's somebody I'm forgetting who doesn't have one. Um, extra hand axe. Um, spare killer axe for Vanessa. Okay. <laughs> you don't need the steel sword. Take another killer bow. Got the killer axes ready. Actually, you don't need the hand axe, the uh, iron axe anymore. Because the killer axe also strikes twice. So just take another killer axe. Take all the stuff I'm not really going to use anymore. Uh, the poison axe, take that. <laughs> Car. Uh, the un a unlock staff. <laughs> it's got a bird. Which is strong versus dark, which is funny. Sell the poison axe. Fine, you can hold on to it. <laughs> Sell the lunar brace! Actually, just hold on to that. You can't use it anyway. All the brave lances from never using them. And if you want to know why, may damage user. Five defense. 
Eight eleven. That's fine. Okay. Let's see. What else? Can't use that yet anyway. Take a tomahawk, though. That's cool. Steel sword just in case because it has ranged on it. Um, you have all of that. Almost to S. Then, <laughs> then she can just use mid veneer when she needs to. To uh, she needs that extra might. Yeah, Ford could use it. You don't have a, uh... You don't have a Killer Lance. Stat gains from level ups completely random. In this game? Like, <laughs> yes. Um, you have a percentage chance um, every level to get a certain stat. Uh, different for every character. So, like, let's say Ephraim has an 80% um, percent HP growth. That means every time he levels up, there's an 80% chance he gets a point of HP. But, uh, but, um, Marissa may have a 60 HP growth. So every time she levels up, she has a 60% chance to get HP. So on and so forth. Is there a way to check the percentages? No. Um, for this randomizer, there is a change log, which I looked at only once for uh, Ford here earlier today, because we were really really curious on that strength growth and it was hilarious how that turned out um normally no but you can find all of the percentages online people have um you know mind the games at this point and they know how um how long what the, the girls are. No, he had like a really high strength growth. Well, not really high, but he it was, uh, I think it was 38. He actually had a strength growth. He just never rolled it in his 12 level ups, which is, which is nuts. It's just, I mean, not nuts. It's fire emblem. It happens. It was just really, really crazy because we all thought it was zero. <laughs> Felt like it was zero. Okay, I think that... I think that's good for everybody. Actually, you don't have one.
Some extra divines. One extra Elfire. And a few men staffs. Okay. Anybody could use the hero crest now. Oh, Natasha could. And just hold on to that. Alright. Um, oh, and Guiding Ring. Calm can hold on to the Guiding Ring. Well, he's a Alright. Uh, You don't need it. Well, I could give you more skill just for kicks. I'm gonna do that. Nineteen skill. Too bad I can't get into the secret shop. Oh well. Give the power rings to Erica, and then she would be pretty decent. Decide where the rest of the stuff is going. And the power rings to four. <laughs> I still have a few chapters. I may just load up Ephraim just because. That one luck on Garam though, on uh, Gilliam though, yeah. Just, uh, game was laughing me for giving me that, um, devil bow. I mean, Needhog and having it the devil stat. Well, I'm gonna laugh at it by making Ephraim unstoppable. <laughs> Even more so than he is now. Next chapter! Group sets off of Grotto's elusive Imperial Prince Leon. Leon moved north. Two faces of evil. I must ask that you slow down. You travel so swiftly, we cannot keep up. I'm riding ahead. I can't waste any more time. I must catch the Demon King as quickly as possible. And when you find him, tell me, what then? Blarishel, Rostin is the spiritual heart of Magnell. They keep the ancient lore. You're their princess. You must know something about the demons of legend. Do not need uh, consolation or peace of mind. I need facts. Can he be saved? Best of my knowledge, there's nothing that can be done. Let's go on that far. The Demon King. Basically, she's saying that there's no... If I cannot save him, then I will bring him peace with my own hands. I will strike them down. <laughs> Random soldier, what's a mage? <laughs> Instead of just being a soldier. This way! Brother, do you smell something? Yeah, it's like sulfur. Are those eggs? Gorgon eggs. I wonder if it's random what the eggs spawn. That'd be cool. Hmm. 
Battle Mage, yeah, apparently. Right, evil Eye. In tone with Sharp Claws. Evil Eye, that's fine. Dragon Spear, that stinks, because it strikes twice. Huh. Demon Surge, poisons on hit. Now oh, Stone has extended range. Great, it's one to three. Darn it. Can hit Ephraim. It won't do anything, but it can hit Ephraim. I mean, it could. If it hits him, it could stop uh, stun him, but. Turn into stone. Hi! You have a killer, Lance. Evil Eye. Um, I've gone over the Gorgon or uh, Egg Trick before. It's uh, not the easiest thing to do, but um, I went over that in the Let's Play. So, um, if you're curious about that, I'm not going to go into the exacts here. Um, but you can get monster weapons. And you can repair, um, you can repair items using these Gorgon eggs. Um, using a, a trick where you can take control of monsters for a turn. It, I'm not going to go over the whole thing here. It'll, it'll take me a while. But basically you can trade your weapon to the, um, enemy and then get it back and because the enemies always have full full uses of of stuff uh you can refresh your weapons that way through the uh through these gorgon eggs i go over in the let's play chosen I do need to change a few things Oh, I didn't get any You don't even have them here. Lame. Oh well. Hopefully nobody gets gets hit with stone. <laughs> I don't have any uh, cure status effect rods. I thought I had some in uh, in storage. Oh, Soleil has one. Soleil has a restore staff. Okay. That'll do. Basically, these eggs are going to hatch every turn. Oh, I forgot to Not in range. Uh, every turn, they're going to lose 5 HP, and if they hit 0, they hatch. Unfortunately, I didn't change the formation like I thought I did. You know, for kicks, I may just give the uh, the boots to Ephraim. 
Yeah, just load up F. <laughs> Oh no, it's plus five. Sorry. And then when it reaches full HP, they, they hatch. Got it backwards. My bad. Ha, missed. Oh, and then critical hit back. <laughs> Some hate for bronze. I love it. <laughs> Level five. Magic, speed, defense. 20 magic. You do your class proud. needs to be here. You don't get a turn. I also give a bunch of EXP. Level up! Level 4! Strength, skill, defense! Hey, that's skill stat! Getting it again. All he has is really bad luck. Other than that... He could be crit, but... Past that. He's really good. You can see the tiles like these. These uh, ones that look like they have coals on them. It has the lava on them. Um, they will damage you if you step on them, I think. Again, when you play fire emblems, different fire emblems, like I have, they all start to merge together to some point. I think it's 10 damage in this one. step on it. I'm not even going to let you swing. Uh, end your turn on them. Sorry, not step on. Thank you. Level 6. HP, skill, speed, luck. Hey, luck. Is that S rank light magic? No, B rank light magic. Long way to go. Yeah, if you end your turn on them. Normally, I would give the uh, boots. Sorry, I think switch souls in this game. Uh, to like a general class, which only moves five. But it's a randomizer, and I'm feeling silly. <laughs> Make him the effort. I give him nine move, I think. Yeah, gives him nine move. Because why not? Test it out. 
<laughs> Never mind, forgot, rogue. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking about. Uh, Ford has a lot of Ford has a lot of HP. Basically, one of the unit with a lot of HP. And then on his turn, he'll take damage. I didn't even know you could disable those. That's funny. Hey, learn something new anyway. you with the beacon bow. <laughs> You're a monster, so take extra. Yep, it's ten. Okay. Bronze stealing Gilliam's luck. Yep. <laughs> oh, I don't want Ephraim to take. Take extra. I mean, they're probably going to do more damage to him than any of these enemies. <laughs> And you went for it. I'll just decide to go. Okay. That is your bad. <laughs> That's the level up for Garrick. Level five. One HP. Oh, terrible level. Yeah. 
you had a 2% chance to be a real hero. <laughs> be a real villain. That goes for the enemies too, by the way. They take they take uh, 10 at the end of their turn. They're standing on it. Sword, Erica. Skill, speed, luck, resistance. A kill all monsters mission. Level 7. HP, magic, speed, defense. So good. It turned out really well. Six for Soleil, magic, speed, luck. Fourteen times two, still need a crit. Eight times four doesn't do enough. Come on, Larry Shell, you can do it. Level 2, HP, Skill, Speed, Luck, Resistance. Alright, I'm not gonna let you do anything. Get out. <laughs> no chances on that one. up. Now you only do 10. Because plus one res. Missed. And monster kills itself and nobody gets that EXP. Thanks, enemy. <laughs> Nobody gets bossy XP because it decided to land on a uh, on a damage tile. Who's about to hatch? The two on the uh, left. GG boss rage crit, right? <laughs> Level three. HP, strength, skill, luck, resistance. Because the strength stat exists. <laughs> uh. <laughs>
Love and Love for Gary. Level 6. Magic Defense. Okay. I'm okay with that. Don't know what's here, is it just in case? They both hatch next turn. I'd love to run over there with Ephraim and get even more EXP for him just because, but... to ask before I slay you. Where is Leon now? When I kill you, will Leon return? How little you understand. Leon is no longer a part of your world. He cannot be restored. You monster. Shut up! He was my friend. We'll always be friends. I made a promise to him. You stole Leon's soul and corrupted his dreams. I'll crush the life out of you. Be able to move at all. Oh, you have the Stone Uranus with you. You'll give me just a moment to destroy it. Stop! And there goes the uh, end of the Sacred Stone, which is, which is really bad. With my dying breath, I'll cut you to ribbons! Are you frightened? Tell me, Prince Ned from a France. Why do you fight on? Do you think you accomplished? You think you accomplished your sad desire? And the other thing is, like, yeah, he's on horseback and he's really fast. But other people are on horseback, go support effort. <laughs> like, go help. Like, it's different in Ericus. I was, I was uh, forgetting exactly how Ephraim, how Ephraim's went. Ericus really ticks me off. <laughs> That's why I made made the comments I did before. Um, she just falls for Leon's lies and just gives gives it to him. N don't bring them, never bring the MacGuffin to the bad guy. Correct. But, like, Erica gives it to him. She still believes in Leon even though Seth, her brother, everybody has told her not to. And she does anyway. She not just brings it, the MacGuffin to the bad guy, she gives it to him. Readily! And it just, it's just, ah! So, uh, Everm gets cheated because we know with his stats, this guy's smoked unless he shoots himself. <laughs> because Sacred Treasure ended up being bad. Uh, I will do, I like that. Will you protect your homeland, your sister? Like, he just, you know, just, uh, talking down to him. I will do all of those, villain. All of those and more. Guess it's true. You haven't changed, Ephraim. Huh? What? What'd you say? What's going on? You're the Demon King. Ancient evil. You told me you devoured Leon's soul. Nothing remained. Stop. Is that Leon? Yep, it's me. Not the Demon King for right now. Listen, Ephraim. I always loved you, always hated you, always looked up to you. But this is, uh. You know, the uh, Demon King being. Uh, he's holding back the Demon King for just a little bit. It's just Frank bro. No, he's telling him that, you know, I was weak and I, you know, he's feeding on my desires to be better than you. Yeah, 
you lie. It is the the Demon King is. Yeah, you're not the Demon King. Or you're not Leon. You're the Demon King. Stop me. He's like holding back a little bit to try to give some clues. We cannot give in to uh, why not strike him down then and there? What, uh, Ephraim? Or Leon? Leon's holding back um, the Demon King. Like, he's almost all, all but gone. As you'll find out later. Kind of spoiling things, but... Oh, well. It's a super old game, and I've Let's Played it years ago, so... So he's like, you know, mostly given in slash been devoured by the Demon King, but there's just enough left of him to kind of, you know, tell Ephraim what to do. Didn't get this far in my playthrough? Yeah, so that that's what happens. Uh, you you kind of get more, you get a little bit more when you play both sides. If you've played both sides and you've seen what's going on. Um... But uh, that that's what's what's going on, so he's letting him know and then like a little later Leon's completely gone. Okay, um I think everybody's weapons are okay. Excalibur yet. Take another L fire. Unless I remember if there's a repeatable fight on the map where the boss was assigned. Uh this one? The tower? no to that. <laughs> you can't use Seth too much early uh, because he is the uh, he's your Jagan. Uh, what that means is he's the pre-promoted paladin that's typical in most Fire Emblem games. You get a pre-promoted paladin. I um, mean, later Fire Emblems, they replace it with another type unit, but a uh, pre-promoted. And um, they can take EXP that um, could go to other units that need to level up. Um, but Seth is really good. <laughs> He's really good. He usually ends up being extremely good. You just can't use him too much early. I got gotcha. you. Um, but for future reference, that's for a lot of Fire Emblem games. Um, some are better than others. Sometimes that unit is really bad, like Jagan from FE1. Um, but 
Uh, some of them end up being really good. It's just with all of them, you can't use them... You don't want to use them too much because they're eating a bunch of experience that could go to other units that aren't promoted and need the experience to grow. Rust in court. Last hope. There is a secret shop here. But we don't have the card anyway, so... Home at last. Uncle, I've returned. Lever shell. Good to see you safe. How's your armor training been going? Of course I'm safe, Uncle. Evil can never defeat the forces of righteousness. So good. Exactly right, my dear. I wish I could have turned her into her paladin. Like, <laughs> I wish that was an option. <laughs> Who are our guests? Erica, I come to you as an emissary of Fralia, and I'm Ephraim Prince of uh, And everything is back. No, Seth is already um, promoted. That's what I mean by a pre-promoted. They joined the game already as their advanced class. Already as an advanced class. So they can't promote again. With one game exception. Um, which is why when he kills a unit early, he gets almost no experience. Because it's like he's level quote 21 unquote or at least 11 um, he's like a, a higher level than everybody else so when he kills a unit he gets like 1 EXP and it's a weight waste of EXP um, he could be used to like bail a unit out of a bad situation like he, he's your ace card just in case um, but that's why you want your other units getting kills because they're just you know, level one or lower um, units. They're base units. So when they kill a unit, they get 30, 40 EXP. Now, later on, when the units become stronger, Seth can start killing and getting actual, actual experience and level up. To, um, but Seth has great stats to start with, and he has great growths. So he stays viable throughout the entire game. It's just, again, the key is you can't use him too much early because it'll make all your other units really weak. We shall rest. Tana, the Princess of Fralia. You and Erica are my friends. We'll always be friends, even if we're from different kingdoms. Please don't cry. You can see the whole, uh... Oh man, he ended up being a merc. <laughs> Guard duty at this time of night? Such a diligent soldier. What? Who goes there? Instead of just being a normal soldier class. Attack! Oh, it gets great. You can get the whole Ephraim Tana experience from uh, my playthrough. <laughs> Your holiness has been an attack. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a pain just because I won't be able to see what's going on. Yep. Survive! Um, torch staffs, the torch item, but I don't have any. And uh, any thieves or thief type classes you have, whether it's rogues or assassins, have a lot of uh, sight. So that will help you a lot. The uh, secret shop is right here, by the way. 
Uh, not that I can access it, sadly, because it does have promotion items. <laughs> and has uh, physics stats that I would love to be able to buy. If I had the... Uh, I could have turned Erica into a Berserker. So that would have been... Or, yeah. If I, if I had an Ocean Seal. Um, but I can't do that. At least, I don't think I could have done that. But I can't get an Ocean Seal. Um, looks like all the NPCs stayed as knights. So, that's that's sad. They don't get uh, randomized either. Uh, we want the treasure chest, so Dolza runs that way. And then runs all the way to the right. Because I don't have two rogues. I don't have a... Um... Man, I don't know if I can get all the treasure chest. I think it's 12 turns, so he doesn't have enough time to go get everything. Did it! Killed the boss. Because <laughs> uh, normally you would have two thieves here. You could take um, Renak, you take Renak and Calm, and you have them both go. But because randomizer, I have one thief. I don't have another one. And I don't have any chest keys. I'm pretty sure. Nope. Well, I'll get half the treasure chest. Yeah, because it's silly. Ever has nine movement now. <laughs> I can get him where he needs to be. Wait, seven. He doesn't need the extra. He has nine con. He can wield everything. No prob. Okay. Take the goddess icon. It gives you plus two luck. That gives him 25 luck, which means he only has a 6% chance to shoot himself. <laughs> it looks like his luck can get high enough. If I can get him to 31 luck, we're fine. It won't matter. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Devil Chance is um, your uh, is a 31 minus your luck percent chance. That's why Gillum has a high chance to kill himself. <laughs> or a high chance to hurt himself with Devil because it's a 30% chance. He maxed out strength. Huh. Probably going to max out defense too. I mean, he has a bunch of levels to do it. Everything else is bad, but that's okay. Maxed out speed. <laughs> 17 units. I get 17 units. Man, I don't know if I have 17 units I even want to take. <laughs> Giselle can come along. Sure. I can take Seth. He can help me look for stuff. Or help me look look out. Serene's a pre-promote. Yeah, 
are so bad. <laughs> I wish he had a magic stat. I just know I take Cormag and he dies because he gets a javelin thrown at his face. <laughs> I just know that will happen. Dear the Randomizer, does Seth still start as a promoted class? Yes. Anybody who would join, um, who joins promoted is a promoted class. So, Ennis joined as a Sage because he always joins as a Sniper, normally, which is a promoted Archer. So, they basically random from all promoted classes. Uh, same with Dolza. Portrait kind of looks like um, Ed Elric. I can see it. Like an older El Edward. I can see it. You have items. You need weapons. Uh, sure, take a killing edge. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny because it's assassin. Hi, AJ. You have a long bow. Take what's left of that killer bow. Shoot the longbow when you show up. All right. Who's where? That's the important. needs to start hauling to the right because I'm gonna have him go right he said where did he drink his milk correct So can hold the left line. Serene can stay there, that's fine. Cormac can fly. Fly down. I'd like to try to get Mira a level or two just to see what happens. Because it could be funny.
Marissa's really good over there. Seth's still still good because Seth. Even though he hasn't been used in forever. Okay. Save the game and let's die. <laughs> Day is coming swiftly, and our vengeance and self-righteous fools of frosting. Where are your miracles now? Um, Ephraim's here, I'll have you know. <laughs> March minions! I'll have my revenge. No matter what's happened, that one fact will not change. I will not falter in my resolve. Because I'm your friend, I will strike you down. I like that. 13 turns. I still don't have enough turns. Iron Axe, Iron Hand Axe, Nosferatu. Thank you for following! Hospital Blaster. Let's go. Right, move forward. I joined while playing, and we're on the same chapter. Are you playing uh, normal or randomizer? Either way, I wish you good luck on on this map. Uh, it's a it can be a pretty rough map just because of. The uh, fog of war. And because we don't have two thieves, we can't we can't get all the treasure chests. But we're gonna we're gonna playing normal. Awesome. Um, make sure to uh, if you want to try to get the treasure chest, try to take both calm and uh, Renak if you got Renak. That way you can send one to each side and you can grab all the treasure chests. Nine movement. <laughs> He's not in range. What the heck? <laughs> 14. HP, speed, resistance. That defense and rest stat. So good. His defense max is probably 24, and res looks like 23. And there's a good chance of him reaching both of those. Man. Good stuff. Still sword, you're gonna throw range. You're gonna be lame. This Rostin assassin that's next to him, by the way. Maybe that got randomized. I don't remember him having an assassin. Has double silver blades. Oh, they only have 12 uses, but the silver blades became ranged. That's wicked. gonna do it for this first turn. I don't wanna... <laughs> get too much trouble here. Just in case I need to go heal. Right there. 
Garrick will be that way, so you go with this group. Okay. Next turn! Started playing the series about a month ago with Blazing Sword. Now I'm on Sacred Stones. Not sure what to go to next. Um, I really hope you enjoyed Blazing Sword because that's one of my absolute favorites. Um, Sacred Stones is fun too, and uh, I'm glad you're you're playing the series. It's a series that I. I really enjoy. Um, not something I've played a bunch of on my channel, but I've played a bunch of Fire Emblem. It is a lot of fun. Um, what's next is kind of kind of depends on what you have access to. Good try, Random Knight. Good try. Um, I am normally an RPG player. I play a lot of RPGs on the channel. Hate to be rude, but the Ni King's Knights are garbage. It NPC Knights are garbage in every Fire Emblem game. <laughs> They're so bad. Gr green units are, are normally so terrible. Like, the generic Knights are always bad. Um... Anyway, I play normally RPGs. Um, in a few days, I'm going to be starting Anthem. And it's going to be the biggest leap I'm going to take for the channel. I'm going to have a bunch of stuff I normally don't have. Um, such as the um, bot there. The uh, mod Starlight that I, that I made. Um, I'm going to have screens when I not playing and um, stuff like that. I I uh, I'm taking a really big risk. I normally don't um, do a bunch of fancy things but I'm going to try really hard for Anthem because it may be the chance for the channel to to be something than just five viewers. <laughs> Um, on my Let's Play channel, which is on YouTube, same name, um, I do a bunch of RPGs mostly. That's really my wheelhouse. But I enjoy strategy games, action games, shooters, a whole bunch of different types of games. But the RPGs are mainly my wheelhouse. That and uh, secondary strategy. I actually got a friend who offered me a Path of Radiance box for 45 I'd do it. Path of Radiance can be uh, expensive to get, and it's a fantastic Fire Emblem game. Please clear it, letter shell. Please clear it. Yes! Good, that suits me, turn. Yes, that is one of the two with Ike. And crit. Um, I highly recommend Path of Radiance. I do not recommend that fire emblem. <laughs> uh, that's, just, that's just me being mean. Um, it's not a bad fire emblem. Dead. 
Not gonna lie, I got into the series mainly because I was maining Ike in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's great! Um, I'm glad you gave the series a try because um, I think Fire Emblem is a really cool series that, um, that I think everybody should give a try. Need one crit. You got hit. There it is. I agree. I'm liking it way more than I thought I would. Good! I'm really glad. I'm glad to hear that. Because that's kind of been my experience with with people. Um, people think strategy game, and they they think they usually think of um, like a StarCraft, a uh, real time. But turn based are completely different. Thanks, Zephyr. And I think a lot of people would would find some fun in it if they just gave them a try. This will be funny. 7% crit. Oh, you're using Luna. I am taking zero chances. Knowing my luck, he'd roll the 12 hit, roll the 7 critical, and just kill Franz. We are not doing that. <laughs> with the Luna. <laughs> oh, I can see that far. Yeah, but you can't crit with it. Okay. I tend to play a lot of games mainly for the story. That's cool. Welcome to the, the right place. <laughs> I love RPGs because of stories. HP skill luck is one of many reasons I like RPGs. Um, huh, there's Brave Lance. Kill himself with it. That'd be funny. Um, but... If you like story, I, I very much so recommend Path of Radiance. It has a it has a pretty meaty story when you want to get a little deep. Like especially if you do um, all the conversations in camp. You can do these conversations in base camp. Um, and start diving into the characters. Um, it's got some... Some very strong storylines in it. Are they like supports? Uh, there are supports, and then there's also these optional talks you can do um, in camp. Uh, basically, camp is like, you know how you're in the main, um, where you can manage your items in this game? In between maps? Um, it's like that. You just have these, um, talks that you can choose to do or skip them. I, I recommend doing all of them. There's those and supports, so you get even more, more characters and backstory and stuff like that. Also, sometimes you get items from those camp conversations, so they're always worth doing.
Forge is gonna tank this side until a mage shows up. Now oh, there's some more hardy units up there. Are you gonna get Dragon Quest for the Switch? Maybe. We already have Dragon Quest, I just haven't got around to it yet because of all the projects going on. Um, I really want to get to DQ11 so bad. It looks so good. Um, but I might get it again for the Switch just because all that extra content like, looks really cool. That sounds really cool, actually. The uh, camp stuff, yeah. Uh, Path of Radiance, I'll warn you, it starts very slow. Um, the first seven, eight chapters are are very slow. Um, but once the game picks up, it is one of the best Fire Emblem games. But it does start out slow. Um, and that's mainly because tutorial and just setting up a few of the plot elements. It takes a it takes a couple of chapters to do that. Maybe not eight. I'm, I'm trying to remember. It does take it does take several chapters. I'd say about the first fourth of the chapters, maybe fifth. It, it takes a little bit for it to because it sets all the uh, sets all the plot elements in place, and plus again like tutorials. Um, but once once the ball gets rolling, it's got one of the one of the deepest stories, um, some really great character growth development. Um, it's a it's a very good fire emblem. Just, there's a reason it's so beloved. Thanks, but what do you use? Steel blade, steel blade. I'll take my chances with the axes. Thank you, Marissa! There are there are some changes to the GBA games, yeah. Um a lot of what you know will still apply. Which is um, weapon triangles, although the magic one's a bit different, and um, unit movement, weapon durability, like all that, you know. Uh, but it does have some extra mechanics going on, um, which are great. Those extra mechanics are a lot of fun. Just there's tutorials for that. I say, it takes a little bit for the ball to get rolling. So don't, if you're thinking, man, what was all the hype about? Um, give the game a little bit of time. It is very well worth it, I promise. Especially if you like a more, um, if you like a, a meaty story, some characters that do have some growths, and not stat growth, not just stat growths, but character development. Um, Path of Radiance does that very well. I was really hoping you'd crit there, Seth. I was hoping you'd crit there, too. <laughs> Brave bows. Wow, they poison on hit. Hey, I see a weapon for effort. Ooh, this is going to be rough. This, this side up here needed some more help. Send it to them through Gillian. Oh, don't miss again. Good. Just needed hit once. Ah, 
Ah, I ran into something. I was wondering. Steel sword, brave sword. Oh, the brave sword's gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. Ephraim agrees. <laughs> Awakening is is pretty good. I like Awakening a lot, but I can see the story isn't for isn't for everybody. Um, I I can't personally recommend Revelations or the uh, was it Fates, Fates. the uh, whole Fate series. Um, I'm I wasn't a fan of those games. I'm not gonna say they're bad. Like they're fun to play, but um, I don't like them as much. I personally like Awakening a lot. HD Magic Speed Resistance. I think gameplay-wise, they're both solid, but I I still think these games and like especially like Path of Radiance is where where they shine. The GBA games. Yes, that even includes FE6, but I didn't say that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. A, a lot of people... A lot of people talk bad about Awakening. Like, I like Awakening a lot. Um, I think... Uh, the story... A lot of people just get hung up on the uh, marriage... Story and the whole timeline thing it has going on. That's been done a lot, a lot in games. And I don't hear nearly as much complaint about some other games as I do Awakening. Um... But, I think it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed the characters. The characters had character. And, I overall liked the characters. Um, the story kind of derails itself at one point, which I don't understand why it does that, but then it gets back on track. Overall, I think it's a fun experience, and it's worth playing. And I have, I, I, I will admit, I have a soft spot for Awakening because you get to play as the tactician, which is what I, I play on the channel. It's something I pride myself in, is kind of being this, um, this tactician, and so I get to be that. And Robin's character has a lot of me in it funny enough like that we have a lot in common like the actual person sitting here on the couch <laughs> streaming and robin so i just feel this this connection is like that's me so it it uh the game will always speak to me i always have a soft spot in it in my heart for it um but putting that aside i still think it's a very solid fire emblem game and and worth playing worth experiencing at least once I am nothing if not honest with all of you. <laughs> One of my strong points, although some people would call that a weakness. <laughs> I don't want to hear the truth from my streamer. I just want to hear what I want to hear. Say love you. HP skill defense. More defense. I didn't notice you had a bow. <laughs> there it is, there's that bow coming into play. See? 
I had a conversation earlier about uh, warriors are bad. And I'm like, warriors can use bows, though. And you never know when a bow might come in handy. Right there. <laughs> the NPC helping me uh, give a little more love to the warrior class. All these steel swords, because they have range. Boy, I hope not. I haven't even thought of that, Zareth. I'm calling it. Three Houses is going to have a fourth route DLC. So help me if they do that. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Silver Bow. Get out. Dodge that. But you, the, the difference is you're not buying three games, though. Right. You're just buying one game. You're buying three houses. So you might pay DLC for that if they do a like a fourth route. I hope not. I hope it's just built in if they do something like that. <laughs> Shot himself. Because Silverbow has uh, demon stuff. Um, in Path of Radiance? I don't remember. I think, uh, it's just one, one promotion. They just have one path. It's been a while since I've played Path of Radiance. I never finished Path of Radiance, so... I always get Fire Emblems kind of mixed up at some point. Um, it's, it's really cool, the, uh, two promotion having the, the choice. Um, in Awakening, you have stuff like that. You have choices, uh, which is great. I got this! <laughs> Blink summon high with bow string. Ah! <laughs> that's a really that's a really powerful boat bow string. It's like he almost like garroted himself with it. I got this, and the bow just like twists around, he starts strangling on the arrow. Ah! Look, he the took bow. half his health with the, with a shot. He pulled the bow back and like snapped and smacked him on the head. <laughs> yes! Ah! <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see what we got. 5,000 gold. I like money. He had the arrow face. In the he had the bow completely backwards. <laughs> I got this! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it just, like, he shoots at... Who was he shooting at? He was shooting at Seth, right? He just... He fires at Seth. Seth dodges. The arrow bounces off the wall and then just <laughs> sticks him in, like, the chest. <laughs> oh! Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, this... I love how he does the fight we, when the weapons hit him. We, <laughs> we have fun here. <laughs> Sometimes it gets serious. You know, and I get frustrated and angry at games everybody does, but for the most part, I like to think we have fun here. <laughs> yeah, oh man! <laughs> oh, that extra 180 makes it where it doesn't hurt anywhere near as much. <laughs> Why is it so important? Seven. One HP. Good job, Garrett. Got that brave bow now, though. That's going to Ephraim. Was Erica's path more story intensive than Ephraim's? I took his, and people told me a lot of things that happened in the game that I never experienced. Yeah, to kind of get the... Um, yeah, there's, um... There's some things that happen in Erica's path, and some things that happen in Ephraim's path. They kind of give you, depending on which one you take, the other side will give you a synopsis of what happened. I wouldn't say it's more story intensive, it's just a different part of the story. If you're ever curious and you, you uh, don't want to go through it because you're, you've moved on to Path of Radiance or whatever, um, I can re recommend playing through it because you can um, 
maybe use some different characters, you have different growths, stuff like that. You always get a different experience when you play a Fire Emblem game. Um, I played through both paths on my channel. Yes, shameless plug. Um, <laughs> another silver bow. I'm not letting you fire again. Everyone's gonna put a stop to that. With gusto! <laughs> Oh, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> because this is for fun. Zero! <laughs> oh, you do one with the longbow. That's right, you have a longbow. Never mind. No reason to be. Haha! -ha! Yeah, hit! Got 12 XP. <laughs> Lovely got mirror. Yeah, maybe so, but at least the uh, beginning chapters aren't too hard to get through. <laughs> Level 3! HP, Strength, Skill, Speed, Resistance! Yeah, good job there. Speed, luck, defense, resistance. Hey, he got a point of luck. Check that out. <laughs> Darn, didn't kill. Level up for Seth. He's been out of the party for a long time. Let's see what he gets. Six. HP, speed, resistance. <laughs> he did have a luck stat. Yeah. It wasn't zero. <laughs> That's a fact now. Watch, we're going to look and it's going to be like Fords. He had like a 30-something luck stat. <laughs> Marissa gains a level. Level four. HP, strength, skill, resistance. Nice. She, she grew really well. All things considered... Like she's not a bad unit at all. Alright, I gotta deal with all this mess down here. Mid 90, so help me. Oh man, I really needed you to double yourself, but you're too slow. Yeah, um, Ephraim, Ephraim's a beast. He usually ends up really good. Uh, Hector's Hector's just the boss, man. Um, and I always I always fight for Lindus, even though I know she's not a super good lord. Um, she's uh, she means a lot to me personally because she reminds me of somebody very special. Um, so I I'll always fight for Lindus. But Hector's, th there's a reason there's the memes about him and stuff, because he is that much of a boss. Eric is okay. She's not a, she's not a, a bad lord. But she's, she's okay. Hero crit! Always good to see. Catch. Oh, right. I need to heal. I need to heal in this. <laughs> Get back. I really want to like Elliewood too, but, uh, like father, like son. <laughs> they, they both don't do well.
Alleyway just usually doesn't grow very well for me, sadly. Man, you go for it. You, you hit. Why not? I got this Divine Tone. Let's use it. Oh, crit! That saves the use. I like Elliwood's character. I like Elliwood's model. Um, but he just usually doesn't grow too well for me. Like I said, I like to think he's kind of average. Maybe a little below. Ha! <laughs> if... <laughs> If he promoted earlier, I'd like him more. Very funny you say that. Just remember the whole, like, father-like son thing. Uh, if you don't know, um, you know Roy from Smash Brothers, because you play Smash Brothers. Um, Elliot is his father. That, that's who his dad is. And, uh, the son suffers from the same problem <laughs> that you just pointed out. taking more damage than I thought. Enemy is starting to hit harder. It's not great. You do nothing. You can definitely see that Binding Blade being FE6, they were figuring out how they wanted to do the other GBA games. You could kind of see they were starting to, you know, they put some pieces together, and in 7 it really shines, and in 8 they changed some more things. Um, but it's not, it's not a bad Fire Emblem game. I talk a lot of junk about FE6, um, just because I've always had really bad luck with it. And <laughs> I think it it's uh it's got some flaws, but it's not a bad fire emblem game. I have plenty of tips for for uh FE6. Silver sword, silver blade, blade, sword. Well, just about all of this is in Marissa's favor. Because of lands. <laughs> oh, hey! Question answered! You do get the EXP. <laughs> Usually I don't mess with devil weapons, but there you go. Um, if, I guess at least if you get a hit and the enemy offs itself, you get the EXP. <laughs> For being in battle with it. The more you know. I like how it continued the animation even though it was dying. Yeah, you can see it. It was still flying back on screen. <laughs> Wish Marissa was that good in the normal game. Yeah, sometimes. Um, I've, I've had good Marissa's before. It's just she suffers from what every Mermaiden ever suffers from. 
is low strength growth. Um, but if you get some luck with those, she's an extremely good unit. Hi, Gabe. Welcome to the stream. I am scared of moving Soleil with his defense. And that silver bow again. That we're just not messing around with. Aura! Hi! The A-Rank Light Tome. We've not seen it. It poisons on hit. Okay, so it got poisoned. And Joshua's normally really good. He wasn't good in this randomizer, sadly. Um, but he's normally normally a good unit. I want to get rid of the bow. I also want to get rid of the bow. <laughs> get rid of Aura. Thank you for following! I'm um, again, just for the few that are here, in a couple of days, I'll be starting Anthem. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope all of you show up. Please give it a chance. Please give me a chance. I'm going to be putting a lot of effort, a lot of time. I'll be streaming a lot. Um, a lot more than I normally do. And I'm going to really be going for it. So if you've cared about um, the channel at all, if you've liked me ever, please give it a chance. Um, I'm hoping to have a lot of fun with it. Um, with um, all of you in chat, with the game itself. Um, I'm going to be putting a lot of effort toward it. So uh, please do give, give it, give me a chance. Wonder if Twitch made me unfollow or if I misremembered something. No, your name is familiar. My money is also on Twitch. Silver bow. 23. Yikes. What time do your streams normally start? I normally start at 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, if you're wondering what time it is, it is currently 8.43 here. So you can... So I normally stream 6 hours and 43 minutes ago. <laughs> I'll try for the fire crit. Got it. Yeah, time. Yeah, so you see what time it is for me currently. And I normally start, like I said, six hours and 43 minutes ago. I normally don't stream this long. I normally stream three hours. Um, but I want to get through this randomizer uh, before I start Anthem. So I'm going a lot extra today. Um, I also have a Discord, which I think you can find. It's the link below. <laughs> I keep saying it is, and I don't think it is. No, it never saves because Twitch. I'll put the link, and uh, you can see there. Oh, that's a good idea, Zareth. I should do that. This is why I want to have like these testing and stuff. Yeah, I could give me that link. I'm gonna do that right now. Sorry, everybody.
There we go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Not sure with my schedule, I'll be a regular. That's kind of everybody, it feels like. I kind of stream at a bad time for lots of people, it feels like. Um, but again, that's going to change with Anthem. I'll be on a lot. That, the plan, anyway. They seem like a pretty cool dude. Well, thank you very much. Like RPGs. So I'm going to be doing a lot with Anthem, but RPGs are mainly my my wheelhouse. If you ever want to talk about like an RPG, stop by. Um, because there's a really high chance I've played it. <laughs> I've played a lot of RPGs. Right, and uh, that's my wife, so... Uh, she will be here depending on days. Days, time, stuff like that. Because work. Again, if you've ever liked me, keep your fingers crossed for Discord, and maybe I can become super successful. Not Discord, for Anthem. Excuse me. Wow, a bunch of stats! Got strength! Awesome! I love how the general trolls his last before he... Oh, it's great. Oh, there's the critical! <gasps> that 3%. 52 hit, 3 critical chance. Gillum sends it back in spades, but look at that. Let me show what your true horse does. Still, though, that was terrible. Terrible luck there. He doesn't have the best res stat. I hope he can take the uh, fem, fem Vulture that's coming. One HP! That's like the that's the worst stat I've seen Erica get. She's been pretty good for the most part. I do not care for Erica and the Hero's Pride. Oh, look. really? I like it's like gold armor. Yeah, oh, is Nathan's like the orange look? But I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's orange. Oh, really? I like it. Maybe she, if the sprite had her hair up, like her hair is in her overall sprite. Like in the text box sprite. I gotcha. I know they can't do that because randomizer. Alright. Okay, good. You shot Seth. Or you tried to hit Seth. Oh no, it's evil Ewan. It's evil Ewan. <laughs> How much do you do? Nine. Okay, so you take it. You didn't crit. I'd be so upset if crit was two. <laughs> he got hit by a 3% crit and 2% crit, and that's why I have to start the map over. That would be terrible. <laughs> There's Aura, which looks super cool. And is dangerous. Can be dangerous. More enemy units pile in. A Berserk Staff! Now that's an interesting thing to get. Send enemy into a Berserker Rage and have it hit their own enemies. Cool. Hi, Lucian. Um, health ended up really good, so... Mm. It's just because they give all heroes kind of sh they give all heroes short hair because that's their the people that become heroes normally have shorter hair. So how many level ones are so far? Quite a few. It feels like every other weapon. Yeah, Needhog is a is a uh, is a devil weapon, <laughs> much to my chagrin. Take a game. Like the one sacred weapon that's a devil weapon, and it's for for Ephraim, my best character. Uh, <laughs> um, but there have been a lot of devil weapons. Let's see. Uh, Brave Lance is a devil weapon. Lightning was a devil weapon. Silver Sword's a devil weapon. Oh, yeah. 
he's killing himself if he hits with... If, if he triggers Devil on Needhawk, it's over. <laughs> That's a reset. <laughs> uh, what did Sigmund get? Sigmund got uh, range. Uh, where is... No. Marissa's using it. Yeah, it got a uh, target res. Yeah, I just wish she was more happy about it. More of the time. <laughs> But I am glad. Nine defense. Marissa looks kind of cool as Ephraim Lord. I like it. I like the way some of the, some of the characters look. Mind. Oh man, that'd be great. <laughs> Boss weapons have devil on it and he just kills himself. one of the bow users. Come on, Erica. One crit. Darn it. Now it's going to stand back and shoot, and that stinks. Well... <laughs> Ah, uh, you only do two! No! <laughs> That'd been funny. Oh well, fire anyway. Ah, uh, what a miss. It's basically like, whose stats do I trust? Trust from the stats. He can take an Elfire. Level up! Level 9! Ancient magic skill, speed, defense, resistance! Everything but luck. Good level! Great level! Here, I'm okay with that. I know there's more enemies over here, because there's always more enemies over there. Uh, we weren't supposed to get hit, Erica. Not by a 25. Thanks, Ward. Uh, what sacred weapons? We are missing the two from here, from Rustin. We're missing the uh, Light Tome and the... What's the other one it has? Staff. There's a, uh, a sacred staff. Level 5! HP, speed, luck! Huh, okay.
Thank you, Erica, for dodging that. Uh, yeah, it. I think it's. I think it's a staff. Oh man, if Unbreakable is on the light tone. Oh man. Erica's rolling super bad, but nothing else can hit her now. Man, that was garbage. She got hit by a 26 and a 25. Terrible luck. Death. How dare. Death. <laughs> it's still the guards full and airy. That's messed up. Ah, <laughs> oh, I was hoping to hit with that 19. <laughs> <laughs> Hit! Oh. <laughs> it just stole that card's voluntary. <laughs> just sneaking around. Yoink! <laughs> Worst cards ever. <laughs> he still has one. What's your speed, by the way? 15? We have what? Six more turns? Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. I can get one. One if I run. I'm stealing from the castle's treasury. <laughs> I am helping them defend it. <laughs> I'm keeping it in my care. That's what you get for hitting Erica. <laughs> There's the critical, now that I don't need it. <laughs> Always the way. Uh, Seth can't loot. He's a, he's an assassin. Um, assassins lose the ability to pick locks. If he was a rogue, he could come over here and, uh, gra he would have been over there grabbing treasure chests too. Yep. An important thing to remember about uh, about assassins. Can he steal the thief lockpick? Uh, no. They can't steal it all. They become a pure attacking unit. They lose uh, all those abilities. Thank you. 
create the Divine Tome on him. Yeah, they can't steal on this one. Oh man, AJ, I do have a rescue staff, actually. Well, we don't have enough range to really pull him. You don't pull from across the map. You still have your magic, uh, magic tapped range. I could save a turn, so I might be able, I might have been able to, uh, like, grab two of the treasure chests, but I'm not sweating it that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal on this randomizer run anyway. <laughs> Don't forget your secret shop if you have the uh, secret card. Level up. Level six. HP speed. I got a point of speed. Critical, nice. Don't even have to worry about it. No chances. <laughs> Every point of HP Marissa can get. Hey, stop it, Greased. A rank and stats. Nice. And I think that does it for this turn. Thank you, Erica. There we go. There we go. Yeah, healers take a long time to level because the only way they get EXP is by healing. I mean, until they can use light magic when you promote them. Healing gives, um, if units are the same level, roughly, they get, um, it's like 11 XP. And it takes forever, because killing a unit gives far more. It usually gives like 30, you can get 40, 50. Um, which is why I promoted at 10. So they're not going to have their full complement of levels. Erica's on a roll now. <laughs> She's through messing around. <laughs> um. So that's why... Yeah, I promoted just because it's a pain to level up healers. Which stinks. But it is. Man, those warriors with those silver bows doing 20. Scary. 
Ten to four. Silver Blade. Another theft. Yeah, you're taking the elixir. I knew it. When I saw that that uh, they had more speed, the thieves, they were gonna take the elixir. But oh well. I have I have plenty of elixirs. Man, if only these um, these knights rolled into something that used axes. <laughs> yep, that's usually how it happens. That's usually how it, how it happens, Blaster. Just like that. <laughs> Healing poison every every time does it too. Nice. It's just a pain to level up healers. Level six. HP luck. Oh. The only reason their their EXP gain isn't better is because I think they they didn't want you getting them to like 20 really fast and just healing all the damage with the heal staff, but you kind of do that anyway. I see people see out just to up their yeah, like I've done it. I usually do. Tomahawk at your face. <laughs> it's tempting. Yeah, but then you could level them up. Like they, They've always struggled with how they want to do healers, it feels like. It's like they, they can't, can't decide on just how much they want to give healers. And so it just seems to always be this 10... Like, this 10 XP just seems to be the, the way to go, for whatever reason.
it didn't crit. Now it's at one. That stinks. String skill, speed, luck. Now we get string. Same, didn't, didn't, uh, crit. And they only have silver bows, so... Everyone's getting almost nothing from these guys now. I have a tomahawk. Oh, that's critical. <laughs> nice. Level four. Skill, speed. Uh, because tomahawk had plus crit. So, uh, that that's a... Uh, you don't see that very often. The critical critical ranged animation from the hero with the max. You don't see that too much. already done up there. Next turn. Yeah, Tomahawks. Tomahawks are usually dangerous anyway, because they're an A-rank throw axe. <laughs> Here, it even has high critical chance, so high critical rate. Yay! <laughs> to be extra dangerous, which I approve. hit. Oh, now poisoned. Uh, no. Because crits cannot miss because it checks hit then the critical uh, percentage. So if you see the critical animation, you know you're hitting. Under normal circumstances. In later games, there are skills and things that can, uh, supersede that um you even kind of get that here with uh great shield which a general can do where it makes them take no damage so i guess you'll still hit with the critical you just won't do any damage uh, but i'm thinking like fe <laughs> that was critical like a, like in fe9 there is a uh i think there's a dodge skill if i'm remembering right that that can uh, supersede crit. Didn't realize crits work like that. That's interesting. Yep. It checks uh, hit percentage. And if a an attack hits, then it checks 
critical percentage. And then whatever happens, happens. So if you see the critical animation, the start of the critical animation, you know you hit. Or are getting hit. <laughs> As the case may be. Go for it. There it is again! I could move up, but then we can start getting hit by more. But I'd like to just push just for kicks. Ford. <laughs> Correct. Normally my case too, don't worry. Oh, this will be fun. Oh man, I should have equipped Ephraim with a uh, with a poison bow. He has such great stats. The poison bow stats are bad in this, but it's one to two. It's usable at close range. HP magic speed resistance. Awesome. Yeah, that silver bow's coming. Please don't get hit by the 25. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is B ranking swords? Yeah, now she can use uh, brake blades. recruit Recruit with a silver lance. Good 
good. You attack, Ephraim. <laughs> You go ahead and make mistakes. <laughs> How dare you hit with that 28? <laughs> Ephraim didn't like that. Hi, Chips. Welcome to the stream. Uh, this is, as you can see in the title, is a randomizer. This is using the Yoon, a Universal Fire Emblem randomizer. And so, um, all the enemies except bosses are randomized. Um, weapons have their uh, special, have get a special skill. Such as, like, Brave, where they can strike twice, or Poison on Hit. And all of the characters are randomized, so they could be any class. So you can see Erica there is a hero for us. <laughs> oh, well that enemy's dead. It just gives the, uh, I think the colors are swapped with whatever main colors the character normally is. Yeah, it's awesome. I've been having an absolute blast with this. I've been having so much fun. Yeah, I've, until recently, I've never really played with randomizers at all on anything. Um, but the past, I don't know, month, maybe two, I've, I've gotten really into randomizers because I think they're they're funny. And make some, some very interesting scenarios. So, I've, I've gotten into them. Um, if Anthem, which I'm going to be playing when it comes out on PS4... Um, if that doesn't, or even if it does work out, I'm probably going to do some randomizers from time to time. Just if, you know, I want to take a break but still want to stream. Like, I have viewers and be like, hey, you want to watch a random randomizer? <laughs> really, people are kind of down. This has been a blast. Um, skills? Uh, skills like, like what? Like, FV9 type skills? I didn't see an option like that. Maybe there was. I don't think so, though. A game picking randomizer. I got plenty of games right now that I need to do. There's a randomizer me and a uh, me and a really good friend of mine want to run. It's a co-op randomizer. It's a uh, Super Metroid Link to the Past randomizer. So the way that works is there are, um, I think it's four places in both Super Metroid and Link to the Past you switch to the other game. And you can find Link to the Past stuff in Super Metroid and vice versa. And you try to beat both games. I mean, you could play it solo, but I, I, you know, I play it with a friend. And I think that'd be a blast. There's a skills patch for Sacred Stones. So you can check on the stats screen if they're there. I don't think so. I don't have anything like that. 
that sounds um, really crazy. I'm gonna have to check that one out. Is it a different randomizer? Sacred Stones? That could be cool. I'll have to check that one out. Thank you, Erica. Get out here and start hitting these. Oh, shame. See, and that was that was what kind of turned me off. I didn't like the FFT patches. And they were horribly broken to me, at least the ones that I played. Strength, skill, defense, and not in the good way. So, for years, I didn't you know, didn't mess with mods or anything like that. Again, until recently. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, until recently, where I've really gotten into randomizers. <laughs> These randomizers have been a blast. I have been, uh... Been loving... Been loving them. Very much. Who gets a tomahawk to the face? Didn't grip. There it is. Favorite unit in Sacred Stones? Um. Unit. Ton is really good. Oh man, that that's a tough one. Tana, maybe Ephraim. Ephraim. Um, Usually turns out really well for me. No, oh, normally my favorite unit in no, I know, I know. Normally my favorite unit is Seth. I like Seth a lot. Um, Tana's really up there. Character-wise, and she ends up usually d being a pretty good unit for me, too. Um, Larishel. I love Larishel's character. I had so much fun with her in my Let's Play. <laughs> so much fun with just the VA with everything. Huh, that soldier actually hit. Did some damage. Good job. Alright, not stings. I'm gonna have to deal with that side somehow. Probably means I'll pull Franz back. I'll heal him and pull him back. I always forget about that right side. Seth is so good, and I <laughs> I like a lot of his supports, too. <laughs> 11! HP, magic, speed, resistance! So I have to deal with that. Now, 
poisoned, which stinks. Oh, new people to the series always make mistakes. <laughs> Those is a rogue. <laughs> so he kept all his HP from uh, from being his normal berserker self, which is great. That was quite funny. Okay, I'm gonna pull units back to help out over here because this is gonna get dicey real fast. Here in just a few turns. And in the meantime, I always forget where he is. There you are, with your aura tone. You do 26? <laughs> ah, he maxed out res. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's done. He's dead. Uh, randomizers will change various elements of the game. And make them random. So, for example, um, with this randomizer, I have changed all of the units. Um, they are they become a random class instead of what they normally would Erica here would normally be a lord um, She was the journeyman class Doza here is normally a berserker. He is now the rogue class um, I have also randomized the weapon stats divine does not strike twice normally <laughs> Here it does And there are other options that I didn't even use. I've also randomized all the enemies. Not the bosses, though that's an option too. I've randomized all the enemies. Um, so they are different classes than they normally are. Um, that's what a randomizer does. It can breathe um, new life into a game and give you some hilarious situations like this to uh, talk and laugh about and just have fun with. Sacred Silver. Right, every randomizer is different. You know, because randomizers, there's different things you do for each game. Each randomizer may do different things for said game. But I'm having a ton of fun with the ones that I've played so far. I 
Like I said, I never really even thought about trying them or doing anything with them um, until until recently. And it's like, this is... And I decided to give one a try because a friend of mine does a Link to the Past randomizer. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. And he has a blast with it. Use the dog. No. <laughs> Not when the map's almost over. Um, but he's played it for a while, so I decided to try a randomizer myself. And the ones I've played have been so good. They've been just a lot of fun. So I've been really enjoying them. Send aura. Oh, that ends the map. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about the units to the right. That's right. It's survive or kill Rhea. You're more than likely surviving. <laughs> That's fine, I don't need the shirt's chest. I was only gonna get one anyway. This this was safer, I'm fine with that. That takes care of that. Ephraim, glad to see your spirits are up. This one tried to, <laughs> at the beginning. <laughs> ah, Tana, I have you to thank for it. Here's our last sacred stone. It's glorious radiance suits my complexion, wouldn't you say? Yes, it does. Last remaining sacred stone. It is, and the time to defeat the Demon King draws near. Time to leave. Darkling Woods, where everything is bad. Oh, by the way, take the sacred twins with you. It is the divine calling. You need to worry, Uncle. I'm not on my own. I have my friends. You've been blessed, Larissa. Blessed with many good friends. I am indeed, Uncle. And they, in turn, are blessed with me. Correct. <laughs> ah, I love Larissa. I'm scared. Farewell, Uncle. I shall return. Once evil has been vanquished, we'll all return safe and sound. Me? Yep. Sacred Twins of Frostin. Weapons of Saint Latona. Gorus Evaldi, which is the um, light rank tone. And the Divine Staff of Latona. If Latona doesn't break, we win. Period. <laughs> it's just over. Also, spare some funding to feed and arm your forces. So we get money to buy buy equipment. Normally we'd need to buy some equipment, but a lot of our stuff didn't break, so we're fine. Latona with devil effect? That'd be weird. I don't even know if the staff can have devil effect. Because you don't hit with it. Alright, please be good! Okay, 25. It poisons on hit! <laughs> that divine poison. <laughs> That's funny. It's like all the. A lot of the light magic got poisoned. Well, about half of it got poisoned on hit. <laughs> it's just weird. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. Okay, it has 25 uses, but other. So it did end up bad, which is. Okay. Latona! Nah, I still only have the three uses. Restores all HP as well as all allies' status. Its range is the entire map. This thing is amazing. You heal and restore all units. Period. It doesn't revive, but as long as the person's not dead, they'll be back to full. Uh, Latona is very welcome to have. If it got unbreakable, that would have just been top-notch. 10,000 Bless Latona's most sacred relics. Is this allowed? Yes. Considering super evil is... 
I think that when the world needs saving, we can make the odd exception. <laughs> and use them. Yeah, I think so. You'll return them, of course, once you finish your task. I have your oath on this. I will do my best not to break them. <laughs> uh, it heals everyone. That's why you get three uses. <laughs> That's it. That's it, and that's all. And now that loops around. Alright, down here you have the uh, Lego Ruins. It's like the uh, Tower of uh, Balni, but the Tower of Balni is still where you should go to uh, power level if you want. In here, silver swords, which can damage the user, so we're not buying any. <laughs> silver blades, which only have 12 uses but are ranged. I might grab a couple of those. Killing edges, lance reavers. The silver lance, which is effective against flyers, has 15 uses. We're just going to stick with the killer lance. I mean, it's so good with infinite uses. Killer axes, which has brave, which is amazing. The Sword Reavers ended up super cool. They also got brave. Um, silver Bows, you've seen that it can kill you. Um, the Short Bow strikes twice, but eh. Ephraim's usually strong enough to kill anyway. And Killer Bows that have the high critical rate and also target press. Yeah, the Killer Lance got infinite. So did Longbow, by the way, which has been highly abused during this run. <laughs> the infinite use longbow. The killer infinite use killer lance has been amazing as well. More divine because it's super useful. Luna mend Restore by another restore staff. Elixirs and the usual after that. So kind of the usual um, tomes, which is a shame. You really don't get to just buy uh, to buy uh, Thimble Rotor and anything like that. I just started mine up. Seth is a female mage knight with two hammerins. <laughs> hey, those hammerins can come in useful later. <laughs> come in use later. <laughs> if you can get past the first map, you'll be looking good. Also, mage knight. He could use sword. Man, Seth is a mage knight would have been nice. Um, so... Um, the... The settings I use, just in case you're wondering. Um, I'm about to end the stream. It's getting... Getting late here. <laughs> Is, um... I did... Um... Plus minus 30% on stat growths. Plus minus 4 for base stats. So it could be, you know, between minus 4 and plus 4 for the base stats. I turned on all of the weapon effects except none. So everything got something, had a chance to get something. And I also turned off, uh, what was it? Um, the one where it uh, does half damage, where no matter what you do, you do half. 
Um, turn that one on because it makes it, it it just it wasn't fun. And like a what ended up being a test run. Uh, because of some things happened with the stream. Like it was glitching out and stuff, and I fixed all that, but that run was lost. We were only like four chapters in. Um, that wasn't fun, where weapons always did half damage. Because it made it where you couldn't kill with the weapon, and it just, it wasn't fun. Turn that one off. I didn't enjoy that one. Um, I randomized all characters, and I randomized um, all the enemies except bosses. Uh, that, that was, yeah, Eclipse. Yeah, I turned off Eclipse. It wasn't fun. To me. Um, that was... That was everything. I didn't mess with the hit, the weight, the might. I didn't mess with any of that. You can, but I didn't, I didn't mess with any of that for this. Um, what I said was all I, all I randomized. Um, but... It's been, it's been a blast. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed and had a ton of fun. Um, I normally start at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is basically look at the time right now and subtract 8. And that's normally when I start around there. You know, plus 12 minutes. <laughs> so... Do. Um, please do stop by again um, if this isn't really your cup of tea come by for the chat chat when they're when people are here we usually have a ton of fun and we laugh at stuff and um, I just think we have a we have a good atmosphere here and in three days now uh, basically Sometime Thursday night, Friday morning, my time, I will be starting Anthem for the PS4. And I'm going to go, I'm going all out for it. I've streamed for about three years now, and there's been almost no growth for the channel. Um, I've been on YouTube for almost seven years, and I've got, I've been stuck around the same uh, 2,600 subscriber mark for... A couple of years now a few years now so um, I'm trying something completely different something completely out of my comfort zone and I hope you all will join me for the journey because it'll be a lot of fun if nothing else at least I hope so as I'm gonna try stuff that I normally don't try and um, get out of my comfort zone if you did do like this kind of stuff randomizers um, I'm going to be sprinkling them in, too, because I'm having a lot of fun with them. We'll just see how it goes. This is a big leap. I'm I'm trying something completely different for me, and I hope you'll in, um, come along for the ride. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a lot of fun. Thank you for your time. And until tomorrow for more Sacred Stones Randomizer... I'm Cinderella 9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.